We've waited almost two whole years, and finally, the Day of Reckoning is here. NVIDIA is supposedly, quote unquote, on the verge of launching the next generation of their highly anticipated GPUs, the RTX 4000 series. It is expected to be the most powerful GPU in the market to date, bridging the gap between superior graphics capabilities and high-level performance without losing one or the other. So what can we really expect, and will this new range of GPUs actually live up to all the hype? Whether you're into gaming, VFX, virtual reality, or the Omniverse, we can all agree one thing. NVIDIA GPUs are beasts when it comes to rendering, which is why there's so much hype and excitement surrounding the RTX 4000 series, which is expected to have a release date sometime in the future. Unfortunately, we have had to wait a long time due to the number of setbacks heightened by the pandemic and global chip shortages. But now, NVIDIA is confident that the RTX 40 series could be available for purchase as early as September 2022. Could this be the definitive answer to next level gaming or perhaps a colossal hit and miss for NVIDIA? Well, let's dig in and see, shall we? The specifications. While there has been no official confirmation by NVIDIA, the RTX 4000 GPU cards are rumored to have a 5 nanometer processor, which is designed by TSMC. This means that the 4000 series will see a shift from the initial 8 nanometer chip, which was designed by Samsung and used in its processor, the RTX 3000. According to the information released from reliable sources with NVIDIA, they do want to scale up the performance of the GPU. And that is why the RTX 4090 will be the first chip that is powered by the Ada Loveless AD102, which is set up to have, get this, 18,432 CUDA cores. The AD102 boasts a clock speed of 2.5 gigahertz and a mind-blowing 92 teraflops of computing capability. This means that on average, the RTX 4090 is gonna be able to handle up to 92 trillion, yes, trillion with a T, floating point calculations per second. It's only after we compare these specs with the current RTX 3090 that we begin to realize just how heavy Nvidia is investing in this project. Just in comparison is as of now, the RTX 3090 has 10,752 CUDA cores and 37 teraflops of computing power with clock speeds of only up to 1.6 gigahertz meaning that the RTX 4090 would be twice as powerful as the 3090 and blow it out of the water. But that's not all. Believe it or not, if Nvidia does deliver on these specs, we could see an exponential increase in performance output by 150% when compared to the RTX 3090. Performance. So now that graphics cards have long since evolved from being mere gaming and animation augment centers, it's clear that Nvidia wanted to make the RTX 4000 series an all-purpose graphics card. Seriously, it doesn't matter whether you're gaming, creating an NFT, rendering CGI projects, or buying virtual lands in the Omniverse, Nvidia wants you to do it all with the RTX 4000 series. While they've covered some ground with their GPUs in the Omniverse and the NFT creation, what they've done is they've failed to actually capture some of the same level of success within the crypto mining game. For example, their attempt to sell the RTX 3000 as the quote unquote, go to graphics card for crypto mining, it didn't really work out all that well. And honestly, I can't see them making the same mistake this time with a 4090. Other than that, the RTX 4000 series is expected to be an uber flexible and powerful GPU they can switch between being solid graphics gaming cards and a rendering beast for animation-paced projects. The power consumption. There's not gonna be any way around it. High power performance graphics cards like the RTX 3000 series do have a massive appetite for power, so don't expect that to change with the RTX 4000. In fact, looking at the specs alone, you can tell already that the RTX 4000 series is gonna suck a lot of juice. The cards are also going to be designed with a 5th generation PCI Express connector, which will draw even more power from the PC's motherboard. Rumor has it that apparently the RTX 4090 could end up consuming up to 1,200 watts of power. On the other hand, the RTX 4080, which is expected to be the first chip to launch this year, could end up drawing anywhere from 450 to 500 watts of power. 
which is roughly the same range with the RTX 3090. The release date and price. Now, the question on everyone's mind is, drum roll please, when is the actual release date? Well, you gotta remember, we're currently experiencing one of the worst global chip shortages of the decade. However, Nvidia has been spending tons of money on the manufacturing of the RTX 4000 series, so as to prevent the same production issues that it had with the RTX 3000. And in fact, according to a report from Hardware Times, the company ended up investing a mind-blowing 10 billion, yes, billion with a B, to ensure that it had enough raw material to meet the demands for the cards once they're launched. Now, with so much of this information floating throughout the internet, there is a strong possibility that the development of the RTX 4000 could be much closer to completion than we may have anticipated. In fact, we can see the entire 4000 series hit markets by September 2022. But what about pricing? Well, with so many production issues and the ongoing global chip shortage, the RTX 4070 won't be cheap by any means. It could cost even more than its predecessors. The RTX 2070 and 3070, respectively, that each had a base price of $500 during their launch. Not to mention that you're factoring in that new 5 nanometer chip, and the RTX 4000 could be more than double the price of its predecessors to well over $800 or if not possibly $1,000. A small fortune that's got so many people wondering, is it really worth it? Well, here's my take on it. It all basically boils down to the pros and cons of the RTX 4000 series. On one hand, we do have a set of chips that are expected to double, yes, double the performance of the RTX 3000 series with that 150% increase in speed and capability, which sounds great on paper, don't get me wrong, but look, you've got to put it to the test in a real world gaming scenario in order to see if you're getting the most bang for your buck. Also, with great performance does come a lot of great power consumption. Gaming with the RTX 4000 series is gonna end up costing you an arm and a leg on the electric bill. The RTX 4090, like I said, will consume somewhere between 1,200 and 1,500 watts of power, so it's hard to see anybody on a tight budget using one of these 4,000 chip series. We're maybe looking at the 4070, 4080, and of course 4090, making up a majority of what your electric bill could cost. But like I mentioned previously, we're not gonna know for sure until the RTX 4000 series is put to test. For now, let's just wait and see what NVIDIA's next move is, and hopefully they'll be announcing a release date soon. So that's all we got for now. Do you think the RTX 4000 series is living up to the hype, and do you have any plans to buy it? Let us know in the comment section down below, and also don't forget to leave us a like, subscribe to the channel, and click on that notification bell to get more information from us in the future. Until next time, folks, stay safe and stay informed.